Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I am going to do a paint along, or whip and chat or whatever you want to call it, doing my pillow that I showed in my last video. This is a Diamond Dots kit. I'll link the video showing my unboxing of this if you're interested in seeing it. I have chosen to start with this color because there's quite a few that need to be done in this area and that'll give me a chance to talk to you for a little while. I hope all of you are doing well today. I am doing so much better than I was. There for a while I was gonna I was thinking okay <laughs> what's going on with you body? Why are you just gonna be so stubborn and hard to deal with? Been having a lot of trouble with my asthma lately and it went got in, into my lungs and bronchial tubes and well anyway i've been on medication got inhaler changed and things are doing much better okay i'm not used to working on this softer surface but i don't think it's going to be too big of a problem there we go i went ahead and put a book on the inside of this just because I thought it might give it a little bit of a harder surface. And this works just like if you were diamond painting anything else. You're just doing the same thing. Oh, and I am using my star, star roar, if I can speak, pen because it works so well with the round ones. And in my plastic tips that I use, these are so good with the round drills. Not so good with squares, so you don't really want to use this on squares. Okay, let's see what I can get done. This is a little different because there is no, um, it just feels different, I guess. I don't know. It's so soft. The material is just so soft on this. All of this material up in in this area and right in here there's no sticky on the material part just on the butterfly I had someone ask okay well are you am I gonna seal this and I'm not I don't think I need to seal it it's just like any decorative pillow that you would use you don't do anything special to it because it's to look at it's not if you've got kids and pets, I would put it in an area where they're not going to be hanging out. Um, this is very sticky glue, very sticky. I was afraid if I tried sealing it, it might seep into the material and ruin it. And as far as someone else asked about washing it, I believe you would just spot clean this just like you would any other decorative pillow. You can't obviously put this in the, in the washing machine only God knows what happened to it. I don't think I want to try that. But I am so excited to see how this is going to come out. I have this mauve or purple color and I have a blue one. I just happened to start with the purple one first because I started was pulling on the plastic and I got the I got the whole plastic pulled off and what I'm doing is covering it with a piece of parchment paper. One, I'm not going to work on this. I'm just going to cover it with parchment paper. Okay. Okay, so far, so good. Looks just like a regular diamond painting. All right, here are some more down here to work on. I tried to use a color that was going to be used a lot that I could get to easily also. This is close enough to the camera, I think. I had people tell me they liked when I showed the side view when I'm working on something like this because you can see it better. And I can understand that. So I hope you can see this. I do have another little lamp over there to give me a little bit more light because I'm not using my light pad. And I just thought maybe it'll help you see the what I'm doing better 
give a, a little bit more light than just the overhead light. So you'll have to let me know if the lighting is better like this. So I have been mostly busy. I've been doing some coloring. I've been doing diamond painting. I'm almost done with my crystal rose and oh my gosh it's gorgeous my pink one that's in the crystal looks like a either cr cut crystal vase or bowl and i'll be showing that pretty soon finished it's a rainy day diamond design and uh, i did talk to christina and she was expecting quite a big load of packages coming in from her man her um the company she works with so i'm excited to see what she's going to have and i know some of you are on the pre-order list for some things and i believe you'll be getting that i believe she sent an email out about that I have all the packages sent out for the winners of my giveaway. You should be getting them tomorrow, Saturday, the um, September the 14th. Christina is hoping to get hers mailed out for the first prize this Saturday. If everything goes well, she should have the white tiger in. And get that mailed out to my first place winner and I don't have those names in front of me right now and I don't want to say the wrong name because I had seven different winners and that was fun I look forward to doing another giveaway maybe after 7,000 I've just and loving the comments I get from you guys y'all are just totally awesome I'm really enjoying working on this little pillow this is I think will go pretty fast and as to how it holds up well it should hold up just as well as anything else that you do if I don't know I just really hate putting sealer on something that I'm going to be displaying I think it takes the shine away especially something like this um, I don't know any of you have any thoughts on that maybe it, I just wouldn't want to seal too close to the edges and I'm I usually will frame my paintings and I have some framing to do and if you are interested in watching me do some more framing, because I have several framing videos up, but I'll show some more because some people don't uh, go back and look through what I have. And the way I frame is very easy. There are, there are different ways to frame, but I like the way I do most of mine. I do some very simple, or I'll just put it on poster board, and then you could put it on foam board and, and hang it up that way. Or just hang it up on the poster board it's all up to you everybody has their preference on how they like to do things everyone has their preference on sealing uh, their diamond paintings whether to seal or not to seal I thought about doing a video on that um, I just especially on my crystal ones I really don't want to put sealer on top of that and ruin the shine of those and these diamond dots these are sticking I mean really tight I cannot see them just popping off for no reason but we shall see how it does and I can let you know after it's you know been sitting out things that I have framed without sealer that I framed probably maybe a year ago nothing has fallen off of those they're perfect I'll have to show some of those I suppose because people are so afraid of these falling off and I understand that but the glue on here is made to 
last for several years. From what I've read, most of them say about at least 20 years. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. None of us have um, been around doing this long enough to know just exactly what's going to happen. I mean, what if that sealer breaks down? I have no way of knowing any of those things. Neither does anyone else. We all have our opinions on things, and we can agree or disagree on things. Now, on my keychains, definitely I seal those because those are going to be handled. These aren't. You wouldn't go around handling a fine painting on your wall. And, I don't know, I just love the look of them without anything on them. They're just, look at the shine. I mean, really, it's hard to, I don't care what you do. People say, oh, I can still see the shine. Well, think about rubbing that, because I wear glasses, and I got to thinking about that. What if I rub some of that on my glasses? Am I going to still be seeing through those like that, like I could? Well, no, because you are covering them. So, that's I don't know, <laughs> maybe thinking, woman, you, you're kind of nuts thinking like that. But those are some of the things I think about is because I don't know. Some things definitely, yeah, you need to seal it if they're going to be handled a lot. Yeah. But other things, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still up in the air on that one. I've done some videos where I've shown me sealing some of my paintings. But the ones that I do like that are ones that I am not planning on framing. When I frame a, vid um, a video, yes, I'm going to frame this video. <laughs> Look at this. What color of frame should I use? Um, when I frame a diamond painting, I do not put a sealer on it. Air should not get to it to dry it out. It should be safe from hands touching it. Those are the kinds of things that I think are going to break something down, especially the air. And it can break down glue and sealers also. So which gonna, what is gonna break down first? That sealer you put on or the stickiness underneath your drills? I just, I've had some people make remarks that were um, for and some against, and you know, everybody has their own thoughts. I had somebody get just kind of downright rude about, yeah, you need, you know, you gotta seal it. Just, you know, I didn't put all this work. Oh, I mean, just cussing about it, and that's fine. I don't, I'm not saying one way or the other. I give choices, and that's what we all need to do is let everyone do their own choice and not. Not cut them down and not say, oh, you're just stupid. That's just dumb. Is it? I don't know. Okay, well, let's move off of that subject because that can get a little old, I know. But um, as you can see, this is really very nice. There are no, um, like we call training wheels, little circles around any of these. So you're not going to have any of that showing on this, which I'm very happy about because I don't like them. There are some people that do, and that's fine. Go, f you know, do what is best for you. The only reason I don't like them is sometimes I don't maybe not get it exactly straight. And then the, um, oh, what am I trying to say? the black lines from the little wheel will show through and I don't like that so that's that's my the reason I like them to be like this just because I may not just be perfect now these right here do have circles around it but they're not they're very 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 light they're not the real dark wheels and the these are fitting so close together I am so impressed with this 
I'm not sure how well you can see that, but these are really close together for rounds. Nothing's going to show through this. I don't see anything showing. I guess you have to put it around some of them or you wouldn't be able to tell what you were looking at. Because some of them are just like these H's. They're just out there. But... If I'll try to remember to put the link to the video where I did the unboxing so you can see exactly where I purchased this. Someone else was telling me that they have seen them on QVC. Um, I got a good deal on this. This they had a sale going on on MaryMaxim.com, and I got these pills for nineteen dollars and ninety-five cents, maybe. I don't remember. I say on my on my video. And they're normally $27, $28 everywhere else, even on Mary Maxim. Right now, that's what they're costing. So, look for deals. Someone told me that they had done, uh, they had bought a small one at Michael's that is a very tiny one, that they had not seen one this big. And this really is a beautiful sized pillow. This is going to look lovely. I, I really am pleased with it. I'm, because I was wondering. I wonder what kind of material they're going to put on this and what it's going to look like. I was just expecting a butterfly on a white background, but no, it's beautiful. It's mauve with some flowers. Again, check out my video, and you can see it up close. Right now, <laughs> the way I have things set up, it would be a feet for me to try to move everything around. I'm afraid I would be defeated. Yeah. So, September. Can you believe September is almost halfway done? I was looking at the weather channel and it said that in our area for winter we're going to have normal to above normal temperatures and I'm like oh <laughs> Oh, don't tell me that. I want some cooler temperatures. I guess we'll see because they can be wrong. Can't go by everything they say because anything can happen. I hope where you're at it's getting cooler. It's not here. We're still in the 90s. Um, I think it was 95 when I looked. And then when you have the humidity, it feels even hotter. We had a little bit of a rain shower. Yeah, all that does is give you a steam bath. <laughs> so when you go outside, yeah, you don't need to go to a gym or anything. You can just sit right outside and be in a steamer. Yeah. That would be a very, un and it's very unpleasant. <laughs> that sun beaming down on you. So, anyway, I hear my phone ringing, but they will just have to wait until I'm finished because I want to talk to you guys right now, and they should have called me sooner, right? <laughs> That's how I feel right now about it. It's, um, I'm like, I'm likely to get up to go answer it, and they're trying to sell me something. I had one time answered the phone and someone said, you have won a vacation. And I'm like, oh really? Why don't you just take it for me? And I hung up. Because you know there's always something to purchase to get your free trip and who knows if you're going to get a free trip or not. And thing is, I want to choose where I want to go on my trip and there are their trip may be, um, you know, kind of way down on the totem pole as to um, the things that come with it, like your hotel and all that. I don't trust that because I have seen some people who won, have won free trips, like a free cruise, and they get on there and they're in this little tiny toilet-sized room, and I'm like, mm-mm, no. 
I know I I'm, don't really want to I've thought about going on a cruise but I had a friend who went and she got seasick and she was really sick and she finally got some medication and it finally started working about the time it was over and that would I'm afraid that would be my thing because when I was younger I did not get car sick but I do now if I go on long drives we used to go to Colorado and that's a long ways from Texas but going up into those mountains and round and round and round and round those, yeah I was very sick then we had gone to Missouri and I love going to um, Missouri to see all of the shows and oh, oh my goodness what boy my brain just went blank we we'd gone three or four different times and we've been to Silver Dollar City and they have lots of different shows well driving up there I got so sick I did get over it um, by the next day I was feeling better but it was not just you know a lot of turns and things so I'm like oh brother getting old really I cannot get on a swing and swing like a child anymore that will make me sick <laughs> motion sickness yes that is a thing my sister has had it since she was a kid and until you experience it you just don't realize how miserable it really is I did not realize how much that poor girl was suffering until I started getting it yeah no fun so I when I drive to my daughter's because I'm usually driving myself even though it's about a four and a half miles it could be five hours to get to her house I guess maybe because it's straight roads that I, I have not been motion sick or gotten car sick I hope it never start maybe I should shh, don't say it too loudly grace your stomach may be listening I'm not sure what it is is it your ears that cause it or is it with your stomach I just wonder because I know when you have your ears stopped up and you can't walk straight you um, you get sick to your stomach and I'm not talking about from drinking <laughs> I'm just talking about like when you're sick and your ears stop up yeah I it, that it's no fun I do not like being sick to my stomach of course I don't really know anyone who does um, so that's probably a silly thing to say let me see if you can still if I'm still in camera yeah I still am but I might need to move it over just a tiny bit so you can see a little bit better yeah this is so peaceful working on this it's a, it's a very it's a pleasant okay make a liar out of me but this is very pleasant to work on I have done diamond dots before and I was very pleased with the kit I did have someone tell me that they ran out of they did a diamond dots and they ran out of the drills that would be that is not good that's I don't know if have any of the rest of you ever had that problem with the diamond dots I have I guess I have been pretty lucky and let me knock on wood that I have always had enough drills to finish my kits even the ones from Aliexpress um, so I just hope that luck continues and I do not keep my drills when I'm finished with one I just throw them in the garbage I do not want to spend my time messing around with those because I will either call the company and get more or I am going to get on Etsy there are some Etsy shops that sell all kind all they have squares and 
round drills that you can purchase and they are not expensive. To me, that is cheaper than trying to keep up with them and keep buying storage for it. And it certainly saves me time because I don't like that part. Some people like doing that. Some people love the organization and putting everything together. And if that's you, that that's fantastic. But no, I like to do my diamond painting. I want it ready to go. I don't want to have to do a lot of other things to get started. And some of you have been asking how my mentoring has been going. I have a, for those that may be new, I, I taught for 34 years. I am now a retired teacher and this year I am mentoring a teacher. I have done it a couple of different times but I don't want to do it anymore <laughs> I like my time I don't want to have to isn't that terrible um, I just don't know I enjoy going and helping but you know I'm thinking I could be doing this or I could be doing that of course I pick my times when I want to go and I get paid but only a to 20 hours once I've gone over 20 hours which I do all the time I make nothing which is fine I don't mind helping I really don't in fact I might would rather not be paid and just go up there and you know no maybe I should take that back oh, I've got to buy my time and paintings <laughs> what am I talking about and my coloring books I'm making a little bit of extra cash but that's not the reason I do it because um, it's not a whole lot you don't get paid a whole lot but if I can help someone out I will I do miss the kids at school so I'm not really working with the kids I'm working with the teachers but I will sometimes be in there when the kids are in there and I just love talking to them it's even more fun now because I don't have to give them grains and do all that other extra stuff so it's kind of fun doing that and I'm not going to substitute no I have done that in my past I care not one thing about substitute teaching um, is you don't get paid enough those of you who are substituting I applaud you um, we teachers do need you when when we're out sick but since I, I think the one reason is since I taught for so long when I go in the classroom I'm ready for them to do things my way and the kids are telling you that's not the way miss so-and-so or mr. so-and-so does it and you're like yeah they're probably not telling you the truth <laughs> but um, you're like well they're not here so we do it my way <laughs> that may sound cold but if you've never substitute taught, you gotta try it just to just to see a little bit of what your kid, what your teachers go through. Um, <laughs> um, it's kind of funny. Um, you have to be in order to substitute. You have got to. You've got to be pretty s tough. I mean. You cannot be super, super sweet, or they will walk all over you. I, I kid you not. It's like, yes! Yeah, they'll, when a, when kids tell you, I want them for a substitute, you know, it's probably not a good idea. Because they probably got away with murder. And it's for the safety of the kids, too. Because you don't want one of the, you know, come back one day and you found out one of your kids got poked in the eyeball with a pencil because they threw it across the room. And yeah, there's a reason for those rules. Because those things happen. Things like that can happen. Yeah, we've had someone get jabbed by a pencil and break the lead into the child. That's the reason... I tell all of my teachers I mentor, you have got to be walking around the room. You cannot just sit down. Substitute teachers, even more. So, 
don't, you can't just sit down. You got to be up walking around. There's no reason for you to be sitting. You need to be walking around watching those kids. Because they will hurt each other. I promise you. Let me move you over a little bit. This is, let me see if I can show you. There it is. I'm just going to move my paper over a little bit so I can set you back down. Let's see. So you can see, because I'm moving into a different area on the butterfly. This is coming along very nicely. Very, very pleased with it so far. We'll see how it goes when I go to stuff the pillow form in there. I think this pillow is 17 and a half or 17 and a quarter inches. So I'm guessing I'll need a 17 inch square pillow form. I mean, you could stuff it with polyfoam, but I, mm -mm. That would just be a mess. You'd have to stuff and stuff and stuff. And if you unzipped it, all that stuff's going to come flying out of there. Because you can you can wash the pillow form. You can't wash, wash the outside cover. But you can do things by hand. You can, you know, if you get a little dirt or something on there, you can clean it. Like I said, spot clean it. Oh, I'm so excited. My daughter and I have decided when I'm going to go to see her. And we're going to go to the Texas State Fair. I'm planning on going the week of October. Hmm. What was it again? 9th? 14th? I'll have to go back and look. Maybe it was the 14th. Because she had some work she had to do. And she couldn't take any days off. But she's going to be able to take some days off then. And I'm so excited. We have so much fun together. Just, just Even if it's just sitting there watching some movies together. But the State Fair is huge and I'm just hoping it'll be a little cooler since we're waiting till October. Last year, it, it's never cold, I'll, I'll tell you that much. You're still going to get warm, but I just don't want to be baking out in the sun. It gets so hot. So hot. The sun beaming down on you is not a fun thing here in Texas. And I know when uh, some of you live in other areas around me. And whoops, boy, that just decided to go flying over there, didn't it? This is a poured glue, by the way. So it's not just this horrible, sticky, yucky mess that you get with the other. I don't like doing that to those very much. Okay. Alrighty. And I am kind of going, yeah, I'm kind of going off the screen there. Let me look and see. Okay. Still not. See, this is what happens when you move things around. Then you gotta figure it all out again. So, mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, let me see. Right here. I think you can see right there. See if I can get in there. Get on in there. Okay. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and we have been... I've told you about how much my husband enjoys the birds, watching the birds and feeding them. Well, he's been feeding critters in the backyard, and we now have... One night I saw... I don't know if it was four, five, or six raccoons out there enjoying their little feast and I have seen two gray foxes and last night I saw three skunks so pleasant yes they they were very they weren't real big so they were small they were not real old and all three of them had their tails sticking straight up 
they were walking around with their little tails sticking straight up <laughs> walking by and I'm thinking uh, it's a good thing they're way over there because I would probably be stinking about right now because they would love to spray me with their perfume my dogs have been sprayed and it is not pleasant the smell is awful just awful and I'm sure most of you have smelled had your, have, a, have had a whiff of skunk before it is not it is not nice not in by any means it makes me feel a bit nauseous in fact and I think something must have been trying to get one of the skunks the other night because you could smell when you walked outside you could smell where they had sprayed something some unlucky critter must have got a snoot full <laughs> I bet they don't make that mistake again yeah the it doesn't take very long to figure out that the skunks are not there to play and they have no other way to defend themselves so but they are cute <laughs> they are cute I think of Pepe Le Pew when I see the skunks so yeah they're so sweet well sweet to look at let's put it that way <laughs> I'm sure if I went out there they wouldn't be so sweet to me they're just happy that they're getting something to eat out there we put a variety of different things any leftovers or whatever they like it all we even put dog food out and that kind of thing just yeah we're <laughs> we're feeding all the critters in town one of these days I'll be putting a sign out come to the zoo you need to come here right after dark because that's when they go out there and we'll walk take the dogs for a short little walk before bedtime and yeah you can see them all out there they're not even scared of us anymore when we walk we don't get close to them I mean we're not right up there on them but uh, one of the raccoons he just stays there he won't even move you shine the light on him and he just keeps shoving food into his mouth with both hands it's pretty funny oh yes we have possums of course lots of squirrels we even have deer come out just a lot of different animals and it's kind of fun to look at them but I do not want to get out there and get hurt by them and they're just protecting themselves they're not stupid animals have to take care of themselves who else would do it okay let's see move up here a little bit getting quite a bit along on we're using this color it's, I'm having a hard time moving things around hold on I'm going to pause you for just a second okay I've turned things around let me get you focused I turned the pillow around so I can work on it sideways now and get to these more easily let's try to get you where you can see too let's see I do it right there yeah I think you can see that okay let me straighten my drills out a little bit and carry on I was talking about all the critters do any of you live in a place that has lots of different animals around you I do not want them coming in the house <laughs> can you imagine the mess if the door got left open and you had all of those animals coming inside 
Ooh, that one. <laughs> because they, those raccoons and those possums, they can climb all over everything. And I can just see the skunks just spraying everybody. Because they're like, we're here first. Get out of our way. We're, it's time for the party. Let's get in here and those people looking at us, we're going to look at them now. <laughs> well, we've been watching. We got rid of our cable TV and we're now doing YouTube TV and we are really liking it. We can type in different things and we'll have a Roku player and that pulls up other channels that are free also some different movies so it's been really kind of neat we've been watching some old alfred hitchcock movies and he has ha he has some really interesting twists at the end of his movies it's like no that can't be right <laughs> but he yeah he was great with um his movies i enjoy watching them they're very suspenseful and they don't you don't have to deal with a much other garbage i call it i don't need to see all the other extras i already know about it and it does not fascinate me any longer i guess you could say you know i think you know as you get older it's not really like oh, look what do we know it's more love scenes yeah no <laughs> not really hmm. what are some of y'all's favorite movies i've mentioned mine before one of my favorites was the heiress i love that movie it has olivia de Havilland in it it is so good it's based on um, and I read the book. I finally said, I've got to read the book. And the the movie follows along with the book pretty close. There are a few differences. But it is really a good book. Um, it, it's Washington Square, I believe is the name of the book. I can't be for sure. Because it's been a while since I read it. And hey, I probably couldn't tell you what I ate last weekend. Now that I think of it, I don't <laughs> I don't know. Um, any of you have any favorite books that you recommend? I read so many different kinds. I like mysteries. I've, I've read some um, psych, psychotic thrillers. Psychological thrillers. Not psychotic. Psychological thrillers. Those are rather uh, intriguing at times. I read one that was just really disturbing. Um, mm, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't even remember the title. That's how memorable it was. It was just too weird. And the way it ended was like, mm, no. Because mm -mm, it's like, th this is just going to keep on going on. So I don't know if they had planned on writing another book follow it I would not read it because there no point <laughs> I don't want to read about that anymore um, I know that a lot of you have been getting into other crafts a lot of people are doing coloring and I did one video showing some of my colorings and I'm going to have some more when I'm not diamond painting I'll be coloring or I might be doing crochet that's what's nice about having more than one craft you don't have to get bored crochet is a little hard at this time of year for me it's so hot it's hard for me to want to mess with the yarn but I found out my nurse practitioner um, her dad is the doctor over her, and I went to him for years and years, and I've known Anne since she was little, so I go to her. It's nice to have a woman doctor or nurse practitioner to talk to, and she's having her third child, and she's having a little girl. She's got two boys, and now she's having a girl, 
and the baby is due November, um, December 23rd, so I will do a blanket for her. She said she wanted lots of bright colors in it, so this should be real fun. <laughs> this will be like no other baby blanket I've ever made. Last night, I just kept thinking of how I wanted to do it, because I did one that um, not that long ago, and I showed it on my channel with the teddy bear, and I thought I could do that same blanket, but just have all, all the different the squares in different colors, and the teddy bear in the center could be a bright yellow, and the background could be a, a bright green or whatever. I don't know. Just thinking of different ways to jazz it up, because she said, and you know, being in the medical field, they think about these things. The bright colors help to activate um, their senses, and I don't remember what else she said, so I'm like, sure thing. <laughs> I've got plenty of bright colored yarns that I can use. So, I'll be working on that at some point, but I'm going to wait till it's a little cooler. <laughs> I, just, I just can't think about it right now. But when I'm sitting watching TV, a lot of times I like to color. I'll be sitting on the couch coloring because I can get nice and comfy. And it's just another way to relax. How many of you out there have been doing some coloring lately? I haven't, I have been coloring for quite a while. I go off and on on doing it, but I... I'm really enjoying it now. I'm trying new things. I have all a lot of supplies that I had forgotten about. I have some jelly roll pens. I had I think I've had them four or five years and they still work. I bought the huge box of them. Those suckers still work. I mean they're expensive, but they last a very long time. Okay, well, let's see. I gotta Let's see where I can move you so you can see right here. Probably saying, stop moving it. Okay. I'll just do a little bit more and then I'll go. Because I think that will, I will have this color on this side of the wing finished when I get this part done. And if you do color, what are your favorite things to color with? Do you like crayons? Colored pencils? water-based markers, alcohol markers, what are your, I like to use them all, gel pens, I like all of them, it's just, it's fun to try out new things, and, and I, on one picture, I'm liable to use three or four or five different things, I like pastels, especially for backgrounds, because you can do them so quickly, and they look so soft and pretty, Depending on the picture, depends on what you want to use, of course. But I have been, I have purchased a couple of, well, I have several, actually, uh, coloring books that are PDFs, so that I can print my picture out onto any type of paper I want, whether it's cardstock or some special um, art paper. There's some I want to try running through my, I have a laser printer. I'm going to try running cer certain kinds through my printer and see how it works. That way, if I mess up on a picture, I can print that same picture out again. And if I want to do it in a different color, that that's one good thing about having it on a PDF, is you can color that same picture over and over. Let's say I did it, I'm like, oh, Lord have mercy, I made a big old mess on this. Just print that baby out again and do it again. I have both. I do have hard copies of coloring books and I have the PDF forms. And, you know, it's like everything, any hobby. It's fun to collect the supplies. I still love my diamond painting, so don't fret there. I'm, as you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. But... I have other things I like to do, so I can have a change of pace and, you know, use my mind in different ways. 
this is diamond painting is so relaxing the sometimes when I'm coloring I think what color do I want to use and that can and that's another good thing about being able to print your page out again if you put colors down you think these really aren't working you can print it out and do it over because once you've decided on the colors it'll go a lot quicker I think sometimes just planning out what you want to use takes more time than actually doing the coloring well let's see I'm almost to the end of this having to use this color over here getting close I will have to sorry I didn't have any amusing stories today my mind I don't know if it's just from having been so out of it for so long I hadn't been able to think of much to talk about it, it'll come back to me the more I do this the more it comes because kind of got out of it I was coughing so much I couldn't talk so now that I'm getting my voice back look out world look out I know I I mean it's not like I don't have plenty of stories to tell <laughs> I've had some crazy things happen in my life and sad things scary things all kinds of things like that so if you have stuck with me till the end I appreciate you so much um, I think this is looking quite lovely this is what I have done on the wings on this side. I think it looks pretty. Look how shiny. It's very, very pretty. And I just, uh, I just cannot, I'm going to turn this other little light off. Uh, it's hard for me to think about putting um, a sealer on top of that beauty. Look at that shine. Yes. I think the colors came out better when I had this light on let me see yeah because it's more of this purple color yeah so this side I need to do those colors on there's the whole thing oh isn't it beautiful I just love it okay I have taken up enough of your time and you have other things to do other people you probably want to watch um, I hope you have a fabulous weekend it is Friday the 13th, and I hope you have had a very uneventful day, and there is a full moon. As a teacher, these were days that we thought, maybe I should stay home today. <laughs> I wonder how many teachers stayed home. Probably not many. I'm just joking on that. Um, <laughs> but truthfully, people say you can't tell when there's a full moon. I beg to differ as a teacher 34 years you can tell when the weather's going to change I could tell before the weatherman told me there was going to be a cold front and you can tell when there's a full moon and people say no you can't well I said you can't <laughs> do any of you agree with me do you those of you who have kids of your own do you notice a difference when there's a full moon or the weather's changing I know I do of course I don't have to worry about that now <laughs> but it was quite interesting so I should have been a weather forecaster this is Grace of Livingston Junior High and I'm going to tell you what the weather is based on my students behavior today little Johnny decided to pull poor little Paul's pants down in the gym it was quite disruptive yes those things do happen <laughs> thank the Lord I am NOT a PE teacher so I don't see it but I hear about it but other strange things have happened and until next time I'll be thinking of some more of those strange things that have happened in my life to share with you you have a blessed day and a blessed weekend and take care of yourselves tell the people you around and that you love that you love them we don't know how long we've got 
So take care, guys. And I want to tell you, I love you. You take care. Bye.